This next video is pretty important. I'm going to show you how to manage your gradebook. So you're going to go to gradebook. And you're going to go to modify. And you're going to go manage gradebook. Now you can manage by assignment, you can manage by student, and you can manage by chapter. But I'm going to manage the entire gradebook. And now here we have several gradebook tools. Um, at the end of the semester, you may want to export your grades to um, Excel or something like that. Um, maybe I'll make another video on how to export grades, but there's the quick export and there's the advanced export. And then um, the quick export happens rather quickly. The advanced export takes some time. Um, the quick export is usually all you need, and it exports it as a comma-separated values file. And it opens right up into Excel, and you can do with it what you want. Managing incompletes. Totally important. And here's why. Um, after assignments are due, zeros aren't put in place for an assignment until you manage incompletes and that will give the students an accurate grade report so in normal circumstances when there are homeworks that are past due they'll be lit up red and when they're lit up red you want to click these check marks and go submit zero when you do that it's going to put a zero in place for the student and count it as a zero Let's see if we can go back to um, that other page there. Okay, so that's managing incompletes. It's important for accurate grade representation. Now we can change weights. You can go into the change weight category. And right now, currently, it's set for homework 30%, quizzes 20%, tests 50%, and other, and also study plan, all of it adding up to be 100. So you're going to want to adjust these to... Um, your liking and your weightings for your course so that you can make your course yours. And these are the arbitrary defaults. You can also change the weights of individual assignments. Over here you can omit results which is not going to count it towards the grade. Um, perhaps you want to do that for your practice quizzes and such things. And when you omit a score it reweights all the other ones. You can also change the problem numbers or the points per problem to change the importance of each one of those. Now let's see if we can go back. Also, what else is on here? Edit roster. Editing the roster. Here I don't have any active students in here. Um, perhaps I will switch to the old one where I actually have students in classrooms. And here's where you can unactivate students. Perhaps they're not coming anymore. Sad. But you can um, remove them from your grade roster and the statistics from your course. Let's see if we can go back here. Here's another thing that I want to show you. It's over here in the gradebook tools. In the gradebook tools you can add offline items. I'm going to make a video on this one because when you add offline items you can add them to the specific weights. I am a fan of getting, giving in-class tests and you can enter in all your scores for the in-class test here. There's also um, a fancy way to add your student IDs. If you have them in an Excel file, you can merge them using this button. <clears throat> Clearing the study plan. Often, um, classes... I've worked in um, scenarios where it's a self-based course, and when they move on into the next course, they can use the same access code for the same book but you want to get all of your scores from the old course into the new course and when you do that their study plan remains intact and you need to clear that study plan in order to have an accurate representation for the new course. Um, deleting results you can drop lowest scores 
some of you guys have those policies and that would be where you would drop the lowest scores enabling access uh, that would be um, probably per student because sometimes you'll have um, disabled student or a student that needs more time then you can um, in fact I take that back that's not where you do that import previous results that's when a student carries on into the next class which has the same book so they can use the same code you can import their results from that old class into the new class or perhaps there's been a change of section and a student switches into your course and you want to import all of their results from their previous course you can go ahead and use this button click on the student's name and it'll transfer them over into your course with all of your their old results manage offline items um, right that goes with add offline items here you would um, change scores and other things of those offline items omit assignment results um, I think we just seen a little bit on that and search email criteria. I did do an individual video on this and this is the early warning system. This is the stick in the carrot. So what did I want to show you here? Managing incompletes. Alright. That's over here. Changing weights. That's right there. Editing a roster. If I had students in here I could show you how to do that but I think you're okay there. And um, I think we're done. This is the video on how to manage your gradebooks. And don't forget, you need to manage the incompletes to have an accurate representation of student scores. Also in your gradebook, you can check out students one by one. You can um, do overview by student. You can check out their study plans, their performances by chapter. You can check out all their assignments. And that does conclude. Maybe I can um, fit in something else. No, I just wanted to say, and that concludes this video one more time.